Here are the colors that I am going to be using uh, for my next painting. I have various shades of purples and violets, plus uh, black and white, and uh, various shades of reds and burnt oranges and transparent earth reds. And then uh, along with those reds, I have some magentas and here at the end, I do have some uh, blues. It, uh, the different blues that I'm using actually is uh, ultramarine blue, king's blue, and cobalt teal, and uh, lots of different uh, reds, and some of them I added some whites to. That yellow up at the top is Indian yellow with white in it. And then again, with the, the purples, I did add uh, white into those as well and I'm using chromatic black and regular black and white. And it's all 50-50 uh, with the cold wax medium, the oil paint. And then what I have done also is uh, when I mix up my um, cold wax, I'm now putting in uh, a G gel into it by Gamblin. And I, I do about, I, what I'll do is I'll just put out a big pile of it and then I put out about I squeeze about 15% of the G gel into the cold wax and then I use that to go into my colors and uh, the result of that is that it does dry much 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 faster. So there, those are my colors and I'm going to be starting very soon. Hi everyone, um, here is a panel that I have been working on for God knows how long. It's been in my basement, it's been up in my living room drying. It has about 15 layers of color on it and it's one of those that uh, just was not working for me. So what this is, I had dug down into the wax very very deeply and no matter what I put on top of it I could not cover up that, uh, that ditch basically. So I have filled it in with wax and with paint. So that's what you see there. And down in through here, I don't know if you can see it on the, mm -hmm. on the uh, screen, but this is very textured in through here. I had originally started this piece with some uh, heavy gesso and I let it dry and then I put uh, uh, color on top of that. And so what I've decided to do is to make an impressionistic landscape out of this. The size is 30 by 30. It's a cradle panel. And I'm going to say there's black under there, there's brown, there is lavender, there's orange, um, there is red under there, looks like there's some green under there, and probably some yellow. So um, who knows what I'm going to get. But uh, I, I do want to start this today, and it's banged up and whatever, but I'm going to see what I can do. So uh, we're going to get started, and I just showed you the colors that I'm going to be using. And it's going to be a, a seascape, I think. So uh, we will see what happens. Uh, since it's going to be a seascape, your water is always flat. So I'm going to bring this down about three quarters. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the water down to about right here and I'm going to mark it because I want it to be straight across. Here's my straight line coming across. I think what I'm going to do is to get a longer ruler and draw that out, or maybe put a piece of tape across. So I'm going to get some tape.
I know that that's a straight line going across there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some color above it. And I'm going to be using mostly uh, my squeegee. I'll be using a brayer. And I will be using a palette knife. But I think what I'm going to do is just do this right now. I know where my line is going to be. Maybe a few mountains behind there. And you can see I have these lines are showing up here, and that is because I drew into this wax when it was wet in a previous life. I'm going to see if I can cover that up a little bit. If not, I'll, I'll manage to fix it later. And I think this is going to be where the light is coming through here. So I'm not going to worry too much about putting a lot of that purple in through here. So there's my straight line. Maybe I'll make it a little bit darker at the bottom. So there are my mountains. Now I have to decide on my sky. Um, I'm going to have uh, more of a pink sunset type sky and then having it reflecting down in, into here. So now I'm going to make the rest of this a pink and then I am going to put color on top of that. I think I'm going to use my uh, Messmeister. This is Quinn Magenta. some of that orange show through. And I wanted to be an impressionistic, so I'm not going to fuss too much. going to be in at least three to four parts, if not more. I just want to get some color on here, let it set up. different pink. I want all my pinks to be the same color. And I will be putting some blue into that. Cover up these dark marks.
just want to create a dark sky up at the top. They'll act as stoppers. we're going to be in a very ugly stage for a while. Very ugly stage. yellow, Indian yellow into that, and some white. And I will shape those mountains later. Tomorrow, I'm going to put more pink into this after it's set up because I want it to be more of a pink sky than a yellow sky. And maybe I should shape these mountains a little bit now. 
Okay, this is where I'm going to be leaving it. Um, I have worked on the mountains a little bit. Uh, I got a phone call and it turned off my video and then I did not turn it back on again. And I just realized that it wasn't on. There was a dark mark here, so I covered that up. Um, and the one right here. And I worked on the mountains a little bit. It, the color is very, very, very uh, vibrant right now and it will be toned down. But the sky, I do want to be more pink than anything. So tomorrow we're gonna to be going into it with some pinks because I want a huge pink reflection coming down this way. So um, that's where we're at. And I thank you for watching and uh, thank you for subscribing. And I really appreciate your comments, guys. Thanks.